passing games, a lot of screens. They do throw the ball a little bit downfield. Meyer's going to let it go, and it's picked off on the 42-yard line by Glenn. Down the sideline, and Wake Forest takes the lead on a pick six in the opening two minutes of play. There is a penalty marker on the play. Noticed, here's Riley Rolling Johnson. The field was an interception. During the return, unnecessary hit on the quarterback by the return team. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. First down, Wake Forest. And the Deeks will get good field position to start the game. And a first throw for Walford. Hit his man in stride. That's Dorch, and he will score. Three games in college, three touchdowns, and a quick start for Wake Forest to start the game as Walford connects with a touchdown pass to the freshman from Richmond. In Utah State territory again, Wolford going deep, got his man again, it's a touchdown, the second of the game for Wolford, this time throwing it to his tight end, running free in the secondary, Serenade, the second Wake touchdown of the game. To start Wake Forest backed up inside the one, it's safety. And they don't get it out of the end zone, and it will indeed be a safety, they handed the ball to Hunt. But he was unable to get away from Grant Dawson. Quick snap, handoff, Bird, crease left side, 45-50. Bird's got speed. Here he goes, 35-30, 25-20, 15-10, forget it. The Bird flies into the end zone for the touchdown, and Wake Forest is running away from Utah State. 59-yard sprint, and the Deeks lead it 25 to nothing. Wolford to the air once more. Has room to run. Wolford inside the 10, and he will score. John Wolford just able to get inside the pylon. He did a great job sitting in the pocket for a while. Had a ton of time. No one was open, decided to tuck it. And just an easy run in the end zone.